The girl's hands lift the rag into her hands and press the ends with all her might to remove all the excess water that has accumulated. The gaze automatically switches to the hands, which seem to the heroine too small and strangely unusual. The girl notices the fact that there is no grip strength in her palms, as well as endurance, which has literally evaporated. A baby with beautiful red hair carefully examines her body. She would like to grow up quickly. If the beauty were a few years older, wringing out the towel would be much easier. If the heroine were more mature, most of her problems would be solved. She could have taken better care of her grandfather. Looking into the man's room, the child looks at his condition. He lies on the bed, sweating. The baby comes closer and applies a cool bandage to her forehead. She wants to help and do whatever she can. Sitting down next to the bed to spend another night there, the girl remembers how it all started and when exactly. The blonde was playing in the garden as usual when one of the acorns fell on her head, causing her to fall to the ground. The heroine was a completely different person before she became Katisha Ansley. Her memories were finally fully back. The situation was no different from all others. The virgin died in a car accident and woke up in a novel that she had read two hours ago. Katisha was lucky, and she became just a commoner and not a villain who would have been killed after appearing in the plot. She was in a background that did not overlap with the main characters. The little girl was more than happy with the life she had. There is nothing better for a small child than the love of family. It was in this world that the girl was taken care of, unlike the previous reality where she was an orphan who was abandoned. Remembering what happened, the beauty squeezes the sheets with force. Today, her happiness will end. The beauty was thrown under the gate of a small house when she was only a few months old. Opening the door, the man looked at the child in surprise and realized that it was fate. He couldn't give up the baby. The old man picked up Katisha long after she regained her memories from her past life. She promised him a wonderful life. The guy, even in his old age, had a mischievous character, so one can only imagine how difficult it was for him to raise a child. When the girl grew up a little... The man even tried to force her to do household chores. He always oversaw their implementation. Memories and thoughts are interrupted by a hoarse voice calling the girl by name. She runs closer to the bed, clarifying whether this is definitely not a dream and that grandfather has woken up. The beauty reminds him that it is worth doing something. Not paying attention to the words, the hero quietly asks if his granddaughter did everything he asked her to do a little earlier. Smiling, the blonde nods, saying that her grandfather's letter was successfully sent to the recipients. Most likely there was a will there. A whole week has passed and there has been no news from his family. Grandfather is very sick, but for some reason none of his relatives showed up. No one seemed to care. Slowly turning his head, the man talks about how glad he is to spend his last moments next to Katisha. Tears accumulate in the corners of my eyes and then mercilessly drip onto the floor. Grandfather has no right to talk about the future in this way. The old man always said that you need to pay for your stay by cleaning, but now the always grumbling grandfather has simply disappeared somewhere. Without stopping, the guy asks if the little girl has thought about her life without him, which seems absolutely bleak. Grandfather promised to do too much. The granddaughter was planning to attend a summer festival in three months, which she couldn't wait to see. The hero also promised that he would find time to ride a sleigh with his granddaughter. She had dreamed about this for so long. The family still had too many moments that they wanted to relive again and again, making plans for the distant future. The hand reaches out to his face to wipe away the tears. The baby cannot stop crying, fully aware of what will happen next. If she continues to say this to her grandfather, her granddaughter will take the house away from him. She can take everything that belongs to the old man. Gently wiping tears from his granddaughter's cheek, the old man sighs. It seems that the young beauty did not think at all about life without a guardian. The candle burns out like life. Katya doesn't have to worry, because Grandpa prepared everything especially for her. There is no more suitable person than the little girl, who is raised as if she were her own, with a kind heart and thoughts. The beauty needs absolutely nothing, because she only dreams of being with a man longer. Losses are worth regretting, but there is no need to cry. With a soft smile on his face, the old man closes his eyes as the candle burns out. The couple will definitely quit at some point, but not in this life. The girl stands near the coffin, which reminds her of the old days. The hand carefully reaches out to the lilies that serve as decoration for the lid. They have a pleasant floral aroma. The girl was very lucky that the neighbors agreed to help, despite the bad relationship between them. Coming out after the ceremony, the blonde lifts her head and looks at the sky. 
Sadness rolls into a cocoon because now you have to think what to do next. Grandpa will be in a good place, and one day they will still be close again. The girl is called by name, interrupting the flow of tears. Several knights in armor are moving towards the heroine, who most likely came from the duchy. The man with red hair introduces himself as the Vlasco family's accountant. His name is Jamie and Parker, and he has arrived to announce something important. Asking again, as if it wasn't clear the first time, the little girl is trying to gain time to think everything over thoroughly. Vlasco is a surname that is impossible not to know in the circles of close people and, in principle, throughout the kingdom. This was none other than the infamous family of the only Emperor Duke. He disappeared a long time ago, but this remains. The guy doesn't show the surprised expression on his face because he's too busy getting all the necessary pieces of paper out of the folder. The guys came to pick up the coffin at the behest of his grace, the previous duke. He asked to decorate it and take it to the family cemetery. Freezing, the blonde blinks her eyes in surprise. The case is about Grandfather Hertzen, who seemed to be a poor and simple man. No longer listening to further conversation and showdowns, the maiden stares in surprise at those who arrived here precisely after the funeral. Jamian continues the conversation while people have created and covered a wooden surface with some kind of canvas. The emblem on the blanket was unique, so it could not be confused with anything else. These people really are from the Vlasco estate. Still being alone with a million questions, the baby will think about the most important thing. Grandpa never behaved like this. Without ceasing to shock the young lady, the man announces that the previous duke made a will immediately for his granddaughter. Without responding to the exclamation of surprise, the young man goes about his business, which he was ordered to do. The first thing read from the will is the money from the personal safe deposit box at the central bank, excluding inheritance taxes. The inheritance also includes the right of ownership of the income of the territories Artem, Raiden, and Gelfor. They will be obliged to move on to the girl. The most important are works of art, ancient relics, and all valuable objects that were kept under the name of His Grace the Duke. The instructions were such that everything listed was to be handed over to Lady Katisha, despite her young age, which did not allow this to be done immediately. At the age of ten, the girl became a millionaire. Without knowing it, she took possession of expensive things, lands and wealth that will help her live in the future. Virgo cannot believe that the inheritance will go to her alone. The will is written in such a way that the heroine will become the sole heir. Katisha was a little scared of the changes. So many things at once seem overwhelming, especially since at this rate you can even become a billionaire. Jamian obligingly bows, offering to travel with him to the dukedom and see the spirit of the hero. Next, you can begin the inheritance process. Grunting, the little girl turns away, pretending to think about it seriously. Of course, she had already decided everything in her head. The duke is eagerly awaiting the girl's arrival, which makes her freeze. That same Vlasco, of course, will be in the palace. The man is considered the best swordmaster, but his character is damaged at the root. He is capricious, hot-tempered, and rude. What is most important and most terrible is that the hero was the main villain and in the novel did not consider his adopted daughter to be a person. The little girl raises her hand to wave goodbye. She is forced to refuse because she does not want to die. Parker interrupts the Duchess, reminding her that she will receive one million golden cash today. It's incredibly interesting. If you add money from the territories, you can add annual receipts of 100,000, which is quite enough for a luxurious life. The heroine suddenly jumps up from her seat. The man takes her for a snob who will even be ready to risk his own life for money, which is completely wrong. Instead of screaming, the baby smiles sweetly. Yes, she admitted that she is a snob, but this is all because she already had enough of poverty in her previous life. Laughing easily at this reaction, the guy reads out the rest of the list. Also, 50% of the guild's income, the main house in Art Yom, and a mansion in the capital will be given out. The last point interested the heroine the most. The expensive capital land obviously also belonged to the girl. Katisha wants to cry with joy. The dream of owning your own home will finally come true, at least in this lifetime. Sighing dramatically, Parker says he doesn't force anyone. If the lady is against the idea then you can always refuse the inheritance. Not intending to tolerate any delay, the girl throws a cape over herself. The blonde suggests moving forward as soon as possible. The beauty didn't have much belongings, as a result of which things became much easier for her. She grabbed only her purse and got into the carriage. 
the heroine convinces herself all the way that she is not greedy. If you forget about the terrible character of the Duke, then you can live with it, because you need to check the wealth. Noticing the Duchess's thoughtfulness, Jamian asks the lady if she is okay. Virgo was a little tired, so she just got distracted. The spirit of the hero was mentioned a little earlier, and now, completely relaxed, Katisha decided to ask what it was. The hero's spirit is the holy soul. This means that the previous head of the family is still alive only in soul. He is able to see, hear, and express his opinion. Now the little girl managed to remember. The spirit of Vlasco was one of the most important details in the novel. But this was more than a hundred years ago. The first chapter sealed the enemy who brought dark times to the continent into the sword. From generation to generation, the Vlasco guarded this weapon. The family had a kind of bilateral contract. The king obeyed the head of the clan, and the head of the clan gave his soul to prolong the existence of the sword. What is said matters. Upon death, the heads become hero spirits and remain bound to the sword. They don't have the right to choose. The red-haired man leans closer only to say conspiratorially that the spirit has already appeared in the spirit tower. The heroine's eyes light up with the fire of hope, which remains there. She will be able to see her grandfather at least once more. Ainsley, for some reason, thought that she would never again be able to meet the person most dear to her. This was confusing. Tears of joy accumulate in the eyes. The blonde, even after her family leaves, will not be completely alone, even if it is not the same. The logical chain develops itself in your head. If the grandfather was the previous duke, then the current one is his son. The blonde was not sure when the old man mentioned relatives. According to him, he had two sons, one of whom left the family earlier. The second young man did not live up to expectations. Grandfather broke ties with him and left, never to see such a stubborn man like him again. Usually children run away from home, but in such an ambiguous situation the opposite was true. The Duke resigned and went to another house. The question arises why Katisha is the only heir. She asks the guy opposite if the king left anything to his son or his grandchildren. Smiling as if the information was not at all scary, Parker says that on the day the family quarreled, the grandfather left, leaving only the title. The girl freezes in horror. She doesn't know what her position is in the Vlasco family, considering that even the ruler himself received nothing. The blonde goes through thoughts in her head at the speed of light. She simply must remember how the main character was addressed in the novel. The novel, We Are Now, As If By Magic, was the story of the suffering of the main character, Niela, who was adopted from the villainous Vlasco family. The girl was trashed to the rest of the family. She was treated like a vermin, so her only chance of escape was to surpass her brothers and take possession of the sword. Virgo tried her best, but eventually she simply gave up. She could not cope with the bullying and ran away. Everything was done in order to ask for help from the white cult. There the heroine met the main character, the half-breed beast Ikal. With the help of the hero, Niela was going to compete with Vlasco in order to inherit the demonic weapon. In the process, Ikal will be attacked by a sword in an attempt to protect his beloved, a novel about growing up and being reborn as a true successor. The book was published for a long time, but stopped due to the cessation of serialization, Everything happened right before the reunion of the main characters. Now it is not so important to complain. The current situation is similar to what happened to Neela when she became an adopted daughter. The brothers and sisters really considered the girl to be trash, so they always mocked her, throwing out some phrases. Lowering her face into her hands, the heroine remembers in horror that not only her son, but also her grandfather's grandchildren are very evil characters. Katisha, in fact, remains a stranger who owns two-thirds of the Vlasco property and who has no blood connection with them. There is no hope for a greeting. It would be better if the girl was at least allowed into the house and not buried under some mountain. Stuttering a little, the little girl asks Jamian when she can see her grandfather. Grunting, the guy is trying to count something. The man has only recently become a spirit, so he cannot speak to others. The minimum time for stabilization is three or two months. It doesn't seem like a manageable chunk of time for a girl. The baby understands that she is finished. She would rather die under mysterious circumstances than see her grandfather, and this is exactly what awaits the main character. Vlaskos are notorious for having their hands work faster than their heads. Under their control are armed forces that are second to none. Several generations ago, the family invested huge amounts of money in mining and timber production. 
It was this and family technology that made it possible to create high-quality weapons that were instantly sold out. Of course, as required by law, with the growth of wealth and power, the voice of the family became louder. Even the emperor himself could not do anything with the duke. The little girl wondered how rich and powerful the family was. She thought they would help her understand when she arrived. All expectations were surpassed, leaving not a single chance to change my mind. The mansion looks more like a palace. Shaking her head to quickly get rid of the obsession, the beauty asks herself to concentrate. This is not the time to be blinded by luxury. It looks like we'll have to fall at the Duke's feet and renounce the inheritance in his favor. In any case, it will be better than death. The only condition remains that the guy returns to the girl the house in which she spent her entire childhood with her grandfather. The man most likely doesn't kill everyone, but he's still scary. Jamian reports back, saying that he brought a young lady. A rude voice asks you to go to his office. The doors swing open, so as soon as Katisha is in the office, she sees a middle-aged guy. Rumors said that the Duke was a man who could strangle a bear with his bare hands, but for some reason he looked completely different. Attention is focused on the eyes. The color is extraordinarily beautiful. They say that the color of sapphire is a sign of the blood of the Vlasco family, and all members of the family possess it. The baby leans over, hearing some grumbling. She's the reason for some stupid will. The virgin looked at her face, but having collected herself, she bowed in a curtsy. The protection of the sword will always come with the line of Vlasco, and this is the right thing to say. Katisha greets the duke, who silently watches everything she does. According to etiquette, a man should tell her to raise her head. Looking at the floor, the girl waits for that very cherished moment. The guy stands opposite in absolute silence, looking at his interlocutor. The duke is simply silent, as if mocking. Ainsley will stand in this position as long as necessary, but then will not be able to straighten his back. Sighing, the brunette asks the butler how old the girl is turning this year, not that it's too important. They said that the girl would be ten years old, but she was the size of a palm, which couldn't help but amuse me in every sense of the word. Mocking, the man asks about her father, who most likely did not feed her. The baby looks like a dried orange. Feeling her hair, the lady understands what the comparison was about. The duke orders him to straighten his back and come closer, so that he can look at the face. The duchess no longer looks at the floor, because instead she takes a few steps closer, keeping her chin high. The guy does not order to stop, although the girl continues to move forward. At this rate, she might just run into him. Raising his head like a proud swan, the brunette chuckles. He was interested in looking at the cunning little fox. The man orders Jem to put the girl on the table. He asks the young lady for forgiveness in advance, but an order is an order. The red-haired man smiles sweetly as if the happiest moment of his life had just happened. The lady flies into the air. The heroine is seated on a smooth surface in a split second. Now she is definitely at the passing level for conversations. Coming very close, the man carefully examines the girl's appearance. Orange hair with elements of blonde and green eyes mean only one thing. She is not Vlasco's child. Then the interrogation begins. Jamian will ask questions, and Orange will only have to answer with simple yes and no. Lady Katina was dropped off ten years ago with a note containing her name and a small medallion. The Duke raised the girl, and it was true. Bursting with laughter, the brunette turns away. The old man was raising a child, which already seemed completely absurd. The son's relationship with his father was indeed terrible, judging by the strange reaction. A piercing gaze makes the blood boil. It's not the girl's fault, so she hopes that she will at least be spared her life. Trying to defuse the situation, the man asks not to glare at the little girl. The next question is about other relatives besides Hertzen. Sadly lowering her gaze, the orange says that she has no one. Grandpa became the best family one could imagine. The virgin is asked about the mention of inheritance. The phrase about handing over the house if it is cleaned well does not apply, so the answer is no. The man never left objects or documents that could serve as evidence. Switching to a quieter voice, Jem seems to be asserting that the Duke left nothing behind. Guys ask strange questions, trying to drive the girl into a stupor. Hertzen left nothing behind. Sighing, the man rubs his face from fatigue. One more question about the sword, which was most likely mentioned. Asking about the sword, the little girl quickly covers her mouth with her hands. She was asked only for clear answers. The Duke takes everything into his own hands, picking up the sheets of questions he prepares to ask. This time you can answer in free form. 
The voice becomes more focused when the guy asks if the maiden knows the word gerst. It immediately becomes clear that the guy is talking about Vlasco's sword. This is the name of the king sealed within him, but they are unknown to everyone around. The nerves themselves are ready to give in. The blonde cannot say that she read about this in a past life. The eyes glow with an evil fire. The same question is heard. It is important for everyone to know whether the heroine inherited the relic. Shaking her head that she has the strength, Katisha tries to convince the person standing opposite that this is impossible. The Duke chuckles and says something sarcastically. Handing over the paper, he asks to explain the will. Accepting the piece of paper, the maiden carefully runs along the lines neatly written on the parchment. The letter stated that Katisha Ainsley, who was raised in the house, would receive Hertzen's inheritance. She is given the legal authority of the owner of the Gerst sword. The last line said that this was the end of the will, which means that objections were not accepted. The family heirloom is passed down only to Vlasco, so it was strange. The father decided to give the girl the entire Vlasco family because almost everything really became the property of the blonde. Not knowing what to say, the girl backs away a little. At this rate, she will definitely die and no one will help her. We need to decide something. Turning again to the orange girl, the brunette asks her to tell her opinion about the entire current situation. The little girl tries to find the right words, but instead, tears just accumulate in her eyes. Turning to rudeness, the man is outraged that the girl is crying. Of the two, he is more likely to have the right to burst into tears. Jamian jumps forward. He asks not to yell at the child because Katisha did absolutely nothing wrong. Surprised eyes widen. The guy asks whose side the butler is on, to which he replies that of course he is for Lady Ainsley. She's too cute. No longer able to hold back, the brunette starts screaming. All success lies not only in beauty, which does not solve anything. Parker thinks the opposite because, in his opinion, children sometimes win only thanks to their external data. The two begin to argue without even noticing Katisha, who is quietly watching what is happening. She doesn't know what to do. Stopping the altercation, the Duke announces his headache. They can leave so as not to make things worse. Approaching the young lady, the red-haired man carefully places his hand on her shoulder. He will take the girl to the bedroom. In the room, Parker begins to rummage in his pocket and pulls out a pouch. This is the emergency budget left by the Duke. Accepting the little thing, the girl asks with interest how much is there. There are fifty gold pieces inside. The mouth itself crawls down along with the jaw. A girl can buy a lot of bread for this money. Picking up the pendant, the man offers to understand him. This is a kind of pass that the Duke himself used. The thing is connected to a vault in the central bank. It's locked for now, but it's worth keeping it with you. The keychain looks very nice. It's like an exclusive black card in time, which will come in handy in the future. Sitting down next to the girl, the red-haired man asks to speak about any wishes to the servants. Don't be shy. There is no need to be too upset by the Duke's words. He also has a kind side that will show itself over time. The baby is completely fine. She has a map and gold coins in her hands, so there can't even be any talk of any problems. Seeing Parker off, the baby falls onto the soft bed. Everything is in order with all things, but not with Hertzen's sword. If the heir lives a short life, mastering the weapon, one can become the strongest swordmaster. You can lose your mind in the process, so it's dangerous. Before the soul finally loses itself, collapsing, Taboo Vlasco kills the owner of the sword in his own ways. The temporary period in order to last from 10 to 30 years. Successors are trained to survive from an early age for the sake of it. Grandfather Hertzen, as you know, had a strong character and never borrowed the power of a sword in his life, which is why he was able to live for so long. Katisha doesn't look like an old man at all. If she is told to inherit the sword, the energy will consume the heroine right at the ceremony. There isn't much time left before the inevitable happens. You have to try to prepare in some way. There will be no joy from money if the maiden dies. Thoughts eat the heroine from the inside, making her very nervous. The first thing the next morning, the girl ran to the Duke's office. She gives up because for her the legacy of the demonic sword is too much of a burden. Sighing, the man is distracted from his affairs with eternal documents. He greets the orange without saying anything about her statement. The Duke would have made a different decision long ago if everything were so simple. The will was completed at the Bureau of Magic Administration. It cannot be changed. Picking up the piece of paper, the man defiantly tears it into a million small pieces. After a few seconds, the will becomes unharmed again. It cannot be destroyed. A good idea might be for Katisha to take over the legacy and then pass it on to someone else. 
The condition for handing over the sword is not that simple. The virgin had to die and become a spirit in order to give it to his heirs. If the baby really wants to leave this world, no one will interfere. But it is best to become the keeper of the weapon. You should stay calm and live your life. The duke will not kill the heroine, but her future directly depends on her actions. The baby is useful in many things. She can cook, clean, count, and even carve swans from apples. If a beauty knows how to get along with people and listen, then she will be given a chance to pass the necessary test. Other questions are not answered. The girl is shown out the door, saying that she can eat a grapefruit in the dining room. The door closes behind the blonde with a loud slam. She doesn't have time to close her ears. The baby is lying on the bed. Evening has long come, but the girl does not want to sleep at all. Perhaps the grandfather hated his granddaughter so much that he wrote it into that very will. The gaze switches to the pendant. It was said that there was a name and traces of Katisha's real parents. The girl always wondered what kind of people her parents were. She didn't know them. The girl misses her grandfather, and if she knew what would happen, she could change something. Tears are pouring down again. The hands feel warm, so, looking at the neck, the lady notices how the pendant glows brightly with white light. The baby does not understand what is happening, while the little thing opens the shell. Virgo moves into some strange room. Attempts to get out become futile, no matter how hard she tries. The door opens, so the heroine sees a room and a table with a laptop in front of her. We need to understand how Katisha ended up here, because modern things could not be in the novel. The thing on the wall seems the most attractive. Light pours in all directions for no reason. You have to close your eyes. On the screen, they ask if the beauty wants to continue the game. She does not immediately understand what they want from her. It's like magic now. The book is on chapter 168, although the last one was 167. This is impossible, unless there are notes left on the author's laptop. The screen looks like a new application, and this room is definitely not in the duchy. Perhaps this is a passage connecting the old world and the new. The girl doesn't have to think twice to realize that she can find out what happens next. All the joy dissolves because the beauty was not mentioned in the novel. Worth checking out the next episode. Neela was going to save Ikal and take the sword so that everything would be over. This was the last step. Tears well up in Neela's eyes. She only thinks about how she can escape from Vlasco. The baby is happy. The heroine is obliged to save the main character and punish the villains. Vlasco's punishment will be the very ending that the girl so badly desired. Grandpa would be shocked. The last door to happiness remained for Neela. At the end of the stairs stood someone she didn't expect to see. The guardian and love of the girl, Ikal, who must be consumed by the demonic sword. He was alive. Not understanding how the guy ended up here, she asks what happened. He needs to ask one question. Handing forward a paper with some inscriptions, the man asks if the heroine knows the woman. Already in anticipation, the baby freezes, but the inscription says that there will be no next episode. For some reason, Ikal asked about Katisha, although she was not involved at all. Starting to actively scroll through the screen, the girl hopes that this will help her get answers and the next episode. No matter how much you press, nothing will appear. The chapter was not completed by the author himself. Falling to the floor in despair, the girl realizes that there are no doors in the room. She must find a way out. It may be possible to return in the same way, but this was not known before the check. Looking at the closet where the heroine came from, the girl climbs back inside. No one denies the fact that it may not work out, but it's still worth a try. The little girl can't give up her millions and the sword riddle. She begs to be taken back. Opening her eyes, the maiden sees the familiar ceiling of her room in the estate. Everything worked out. The blonde managed to think that she would die in that trap, but everything turned out okay. The pendant became quite strange. Too many questions remain. Ikal somehow managed to get out of the sword, and someone added the name of a background character who has no role. The sun's rays welcomingly enveloped the girl, who was stretching on the bed. She's too tired. The heroine managed to visit that same room about 100 times before she fell asleep. The next episode was never discovered. It wasn't that bad because the past chapters helped. A clan meeting where members of the main and side families come to resolve the most important issues. Vlasco is a test. If you choose a representative, you need to pass a qualified test that will show everything. Neela was replenished that day by the current Duke Lucius and accidentally began to resonate with the sword. After everything, at the meeting, they decided the girl's fate and asked her to take some kind of test. In Katisha's case, everything will be decided by the test, just like last time. 
she might not even be given a chance. Someone could kill the heroine because it is the easiest way to break the contract. The heroine tried very hard to get a chance to pass the test, but she was very condemned. For some reason, the stories were too similar, and this scared the young lady incredibly. I didn't want to believe it, but the girl could simply become a replacement for the famous Neela. The girl stands in front of the monitor again. She flips through the chapters to the one she needs. As it becomes known, the blonde will join the Vlasco family in about five years. The years do not match because, as it turned out, Neela was not connected with the inheritance. Ainsley was not a replacement. Beauty returns back to the castle, carefully lifting herself off the bed to fall. The burning does not seem so bad due to the soft bed under the heroine. This saved the situation. The time limit failed the heroine again. Cooldown time is about six hours for the next entry. There is no feeling in the room that time is moving at all. This is similar to the writer's unconsciousness or head. Everything is too complicated, so it is impossible to cope with it. The main character was looking for the girl, but there were no answers. Fate depends on the author, who is in a completely different dimension and does not even know what is happening. The baby can only hope that she will not become Neela's enemy. The author would not do this to a small child. A tray with plates is placed on the table. They contain ready-to-eat food ordered from the chef. A man is the best in this world because he unquestioningly fulfills all the wishes of a girl. Almost crying, the girl talks about how food reminds her of her grandfather. This emotion is only for pity. Not believing the mistress's words, the guy seems happier. He will try even harder. Effort is only what a person is capable of. Everyone puts in as much effort as possible. The duke notices that the girl feels too imposing. This house will not be hers. Holding back a hiccup and a grin, Katisha reminds that if, theoretically, the will comes into force, everything will be just for her. The beauty completely lost her fear, or this simply happened due to the upbringing of the hero's father. There is no need to be afraid of the duke because the maiden is a rich man who knows the future. Judging by the courage of the heroine, she will easily survive in this world. You could just take all the money and throw her out onto the street. The baby is reminded of the fact that she has a weak stomach. She needs to eat well and see the good. Nonsense is no longer accepted, so the man asks the orange to start the meal as soon as possible. The duke silently watches his interlocutor. Sometimes he cannot always figure out where the truth is and where the falsehood is. The girl is asked if the old man prepared food for her, to which she nods. He bought it, but it can be compared as one and the same. A man thinks about something and begins to talk, but gets in his own way. It is not necessary. This is not the first day that the beauty has wanted to ask the guy about his family. She craves details. Sometimes Grandpa would mention his family and talk about how much they had quarreled. Virgo wants to know the details. That's not the point at all. Hertzen looked very lonely, without his son and grandchildren, who had forgotten about him. Grandfather made a sad face every time he talked about them. He would like to take everything back. No one ruled out the possibility that the old man took Katisha with him in order to forget about his loneliness. Turning away, the man asks why the girl is looking like that. The father became the one who abandoned his family and son. The Duke is sure that a meeting alone will not change anything. It was an irresponsible act, just like the girl's father in a past life, who dumped a debt of 300 million. There was a similar story with inheritance, but just the opposite. The man himself abandoned his family and raised another child. The son could not do anything about it. The blonde herself would like to get rid of such a fate, which worked out well for her. Thoughts about the past make the heroine want to take a man by the collar and shake him thoroughly. They make her furious. Recoiling, the guy assures that he wouldn't want to harm his own family that much. This is another matter. Wiping her mouth, the lady promises that she will leave as soon as the issue of inheritance and test is resolved. All ambitions disappeared somewhere, and the lady changed her decisions in just one night, becoming completely different. A three-story house in a village would be enough for the baby. She would like to return to a quiet life. Not understanding why the old junk is there, the young man remembers that it is even impossible to turn around normally there. The baby is not going to accommodate 30 people there, but she herself will be quite comfortable. The young man doesn't even know how to hire a cart. Laughing lightly, the brunette notices that the attitude has changed. The girl is not at all afraid of her friend, although she was trembling at the beginning. The blonde freezes. This is the first time she has seen this man laugh at all. Virgo shouldn't be scared. The man is the son of his grandfather, especially since she is fed and not beaten here. 
The brunette did not understand the words, so he asked if the old man had beaten her. The heroine didn't put it that way because it was her stepfather from a past life that she couldn't talk about. Turning away, the little girl feels a little scared by the fact that no one is doing this. The man has nothing more to say. He doesn't have a hobby that involves bullying. The baby feels slight relief. Everything will be fine, but only if she passes the test. Vlasco loves checks. Each new representative goes through tasks and a series of questions. This is the choice of the elite, but of the most suitable person. The side of the family immediately offered to deal with Katisha. The situation is annoying and chaotic, but nothing is even going to change any time soon. The Virgo's position is too precarious, but they can give her a chance. An instant expulsion would be too cruel. The blonde wants to take the test. They promise to test her abilities, and that's exactly what she needs. Little depends on the Duke because older relatives exert influence at the meeting. At the moment, there are only three direct descendants of Vlasco. One of them is the Duke, as well as Mr. Werner and Mrs. Arnon. The meeting will take place in 15 days. During this time, the maiden must try to convince her closest relatives, and then the young man will also help. The task seems difficult, because the Virgin does not know at all where she should start and how exactly to convince them. The tone of the meeting and conversations will buy a little time in order to win children over. If everything done is enough for the hero spirit to awaken, then you can change the content of the inheritance and transfer Gerst to another person. Decision is made. We need to convince Vlasco's direct descendants and get permission for the test. If everything is clear, you should try to calm down and start eating dinner, which has long gone cold. The man gets up from his seat and comes closer. He pokes his finger into the orange's cheek. The couple is silent. None of them are able to say anything because the situation seems strange. Touching the girl's cheeks, the man notices the fact that he understands why the father picked up the baby. Saying some incomprehensible word, the Duke continues to tug at the heroine's skin. She didn't understand what was happening or how it started. Laughing, the brunette moves away. According to him, the child is too ugly to look at for too long. Of the two, the guy looks more like a child. He behaves exactly like his grandfather, becoming his copy. Werner and Arnon will be back soon, which means this is the first chance for them to meet. The couple will arrive in three days, but of course it's worth preparing for this. The brother and sister will not be as calm as their father. It seems that the comparison has gone in the wrong direction altogether. The Duke is not at all calm, so it is difficult to imagine his children. What was said in the room about inheritance and other things is best not discussed with anyone else. With these words, the Duke leaves the room. The Virgin places her fork on the table with a light thud. There are too many confusing thoughts and plans in my head. In the novel, the brother and sister appeared only in the middle, so the heroine did not expect to see them so soon. These two always stood out. It was said that they had an even worse character than the Duke. The young lady always said that she hated looking into the eyes of cowardly people. One day, she chose Neela to have fun with. The young master was always indifferent, but they were united by their hatred of certain people. The baby should not show her fear. She promises herself that she will do her best. There are three days left, which means the Duke must also come up with something. Orange is truly brave. A grain-sized creature is looking for a way to survive, which is ridiculous. Even at that age, the maiden is capable of much, because the Duke could not imagine how to carve a swan from an apple. The father was not blind in his choice. No matter how strong the side of the family is, no one can object to the head of the clan. Not much will come of a meeting with Werner and Arnon, but perhaps the girl will be able to win their trust. Everything may end badly, but the girl has already gathered herself to try. Calling Jem to him, the Duke asks him to look after Katisha so that she is not harmed. The man cannot believe that he has to take care of the manners of his daughter and son when there is a stranger in the house. The blonde heads into the room but freezes due to a loud crash. The door swings open and Vlasco's daughter and son appear in the passage. Virgo manages to hide behind a column. Werner is only 17 years old. He is one of the seven Aurora users in the Empire, a strong candidate for the position of head. Arnon is only 15 years old, but she's a pure genius. A girl who excels in alchemy and smelting is not a common occurrence. She received the title Master of the Empire. Their noble roots help them, however, in that there is almost no humanity left in them. The girl asks about the door, but then sees that a spell has been cast on it to secure the material. The heroine apologizes for being ignorant and opens the door with her feet. Sarcasm is her middle name. The guy suggests that his sister learn to use her hands, 
but he himself will continue to do the same. The woman snorts. A nasty guy had sneaked into their mansion so she couldn't stay in the forge. The guy throws the man to the ground. This is a spy from the emperor, so he needs to admit who sent him. The couple starts arguing right near the entrance. The duke promised that they would not be there for another three days, but here they are. The heroine seems in a stupor. She hoped that there would be time to prepare, but everything went wrong. The butler, who appeared out of nowhere, greets the master and madam. The duke is already waiting for them at home. Arnon didn't like being at the end, so she snorts when she asks to change the order. Also not hoping for a peace agreement, Werner gets ready to go to the bathroom. He has just arrived, so he does not want to see his father. The man tries to explain that the duke would like to see the couple immediately upon arrival, but he is interrupted. The young man glares at his interlocutor. He said he was going to the bathroom, so that's what it will be. There can be no objections, so the butler actively nods his head in fear. Clicking her tongue, an irritated Arnon assures that her character is definitely much better than her brother's. The virgin will visit her father after she returns from the forge. She only came to say this, so nothing is important anymore. It's time to sharpen the blades, so the lady hopes that she will make the same sword as Gerst. The servants helpfully bow their heads, thinking only about how strange their masters are. The blonde can't approach her siblings without a plan. They would immediately trample her without even noticing. First we need to gather information, so the lady runs out of her hiding place. Running past one of the doors, Katisha freezes. A bright light indicates that someone has opened the door. Werner appears in the doorway. His angry look, as usual, boded absolutely nothing good. The blonde takes a step back. She has no idea what to do or whether she should even say hello first. Asking why the maid is standing, the brunette asks her to quickly go inside. He orders to start preparing the bath. It's worth checking the water temperature and bringing towels and everything else. The situation is strangely reminiscent of what happened to Neela. She was ordered to do housework. After this, the gentleman found all sorts of shortcomings in her cleaning. He punished mercilessly if the maiden did not go to bed on time. Thirty seconds have already passed, which were lost, so the lady decides to quickly get started. It looks like the guy also decided to make fun of him, but the lady has no equal in cleaning. Lazily turning over on the sofa, the young man asks the maid if everything is ready. The bathroom was indeed done exactly as Werner asked for it, without a single mistake. The lady's training was not in vain. While the man is away, she must clean the room from dust. Calling the guy master so as not to take risks, the duchess inspects the room. He won't be there for about 20 minutes. Now is the time to show off your skills and polish everything up. Returning from the bathroom, the brunette sits on the sofa and carefully examines everything. The voice asks what the maid's name is, to which she introduces her full name. A man likes a girl's speed in completing tasks. She doesn't look scared. Thanks, the young lady tries to find a reason. It took Neela five years. Asking the next question, the young man asks how long the lady has been living in this mansion. Katisha has been living here for four days, which is not that long yet, but she has already managed to see someone new. We are talking about a fraudster who took two-thirds of Vlasco's assets overnight without doing anything at all. The baby freezes. She thought it was bullying the heiress, but she was mistaken for a maid. The guy asks what the princess looks like. He heard that it was like a dried plum. The girl assures that everything was fine. She just can't admit it now. She has no ambitions but the snake that forced her to write such a will simply must have them. Werner can't bear to watch someone try to take other people's things for themselves without effort. The heiress had no choice, because the contract was certified by magic, which means it cannot be destroyed. Instead of a piece of paper, one should deal with the lady herself, who can be eliminated. The baby freezes. She didn't expect to hear anything like that right in her face. The girl has come far, but if she is connected to the Imperial Palace, then she is ready to fight. The issue needs to be resolved urgently. The blonde tries not to show how scared she is. She didn't deceive her grandfather. Changing the topic, the young man asks, Have you already managed to talk to that fox? The Duchess may let her guard down in front of the child. It's worth pretending to be a friend and spying. The lady is trying to jump off. She's only recently been here, so this will be a difficult job for her. It turns out that the maid is the only one who can carry on a conversation for ten minutes, so she can definitely handle it. The baby is also the first child to look there with her gaze. She doesn't look like a slaughtered chick. It seems that Werner liked the heroine. He always prefers strong and confident people. Taking a sip of tea, the man again asks if the lady agrees. The idea of revealing personality and winning favor went awry. It is worth trying to build trust between the maid and the master so that the girl is not driven away. She agrees. The man holds out a cake. 
it will help you maintain your strength for learning. If the heroine copes with the task, then she will be able to receive additional payment for her efforts. Outside the office, the lady was greeted by Keith, the Duke's personal guard. He asks why the lady is so early. Stretching, the little girl wishes the couple good morning. She arrived to greet the Duke. The guy cannot believe that a person has appeared in the castle who will greet the head in the morning. Jamian asks to take the young beauty to the dining room for breakfast. The Duke has keen hearing, so he agrees with the servant. He can even talk from behind the door. The baby asks if it would be okay to have breakfast with her. The man is not going to go anywhere. Making puppy dog eyes full of pity, the girl thinks about how sad it is to have breakfast alone. The heroine always ate with her grandfather. This phrase makes the Duke shrink. Keith comes to the rescue. He reminds his lordship that he had breakfast in the study even yesterday. The guy also hasn't slept for three days, so he needs to set aside at least a little time for normal meals. The head sighs. He has absolutely no time to eat or go downstairs. Looks like I'll have to retreat and just be completely alone again. The door swings open. The cook appears there. He can no longer observe the Duke's bad eating habits. This is simple despite the neglect of the work of the chef who tries so hard to please everyone. The man has no allies left in this house. Everyone, as one, insists that he go into the dining room. Smiling, the blonde invites everyone to eat together right here, so as not to have to go anywhere. The baby eats while the man snorts. She can't even eat herself, but that's understandable because she's a child. Obviously, the head is too busy. He looks at documents even while eating and drinking. Turning away, the blue-eyed man asks how things stand with the trust of Arnon and Werner. For now, a man sees only concern for himself and not for his children, which cannot but sadden him. The beauty has her own methods. She cannot say that she was confused with an ordinary maid. When meeting people, you should always be accompanied by an adult. If you feel something bad, you should definitely run to the Duke. The guy seems to be worried that he left the lady for those people. She should listen to advice. If a girl gets scared, she will of course come running for the salvation she needs from everyone around her. The hand reaches out to the woman sitting opposite, and the Duke carefully lowers it onto the top of the girl's head. Straightening her hair, he asks her to leave the office if she has successfully completed her meal. The virgin went first to Margaret. She told her that the young master was in the training hall. The blonde asks with interest if she can go there as soon as possible. The gentleman has a tendency to be aggressive during training. It's best not to risk your health too much. If possible, the maid offers to go into the room together. If anything, she will protect the young lady. There is an unpleasant atmosphere near the stadium. It seems as if hundreds of needles are flying everywhere. The blue stream of energy makes the baby shrink. Perhaps it would be better for them to leave quickly. A whirlwind of aura knocks the lady off her feet. She screams and almost falls, managing to grab Margaret's dress. The maid asks the baby to be careful and grabs her hands for complete safety. The couple moves away from the ground. The girl is definitely not an ordinary maid, because the things on her legs and wrists are a training uniform. The pair lands on the surface of the roof. There are many unique people in the palace. The maiden was too close, which made everyone scared. A crack has formed in place. The baby screams in fear. She doesn't understand what happened, so she has the right to act like a child. The training became dangerous. Such a blow could even kill a bear, so the place turned into nothing but ruins. It seems that besides Werner, there was someone else on the field. There was sparring or some important task taking place there. The girl was unlucky because Arnon also ended up on the battlefield. She sinks to the ground, shouting something. Up close, the girl's beauty can't help but amaze. She seems like someone too beautiful. Werner says that his sister is of no use. He seems quite serious. Virgo promised to help, but believes that she did absolutely nothing. She screams at him to shut up. The lady's mouth is not so beautiful because choice curses flow like a river. Margaret covers the heroine's ears. Just three years ago, Arnon was considered a great swordsman, so she could be equal to even her older brother. Morale will not overcome injury. The girl suffered a fracture of her right shoulder, previously her dominant arm. Due to the injury, the gap between brother and sister inexorably widened. Arnon had to change direction. Virgo is only 15 years old, but she already holds a key position in the Vlasco blacksmith business. This is her outlet. The beauty still enjoys fighting because she attacks with such fury, even despite the difference in skills. The brunette tries not to surpass her brother, because this is impossible, but also to keep up with him. The man chuckles. It is important to train your body well in order to engage in sparring. The right side of the virgin is constantly open. She narrows the sword's range of motion and, holding it in her left hand, 
puts herself in danger. The breakdown of character is in full swing. Werner says this, even knowing about his sister's injury. A woman rises from the ground. She bares her teeth angrily, trying not to say anything out of passion. The atmosphere around seems strange, as if someone is trying to suck out the air. The lady was injured in the past, but the gentleman does not know about it. He thinks that she left the fight of her own free will. The girl promised to kill anyone who tried to talk about her shoulder. Misunderstandings in the family only increase. Werner is too stupid for not being able to understand and learn about something like that. It is very important. Arnon will never confess because it would hurt her pride. The girl has her own principles. The man continues to give advice. You should think less about strengthening the sword. Concentrate on muscles, strength, and dexterity. If the brunette continues in the same spirit, then in ten years she will not be able to win. It's not even worth talking about. The princess snorts that she was simply unlucky and leaves the battlefield with her head held high. It's a pity that Werner is only expressing his honest thoughts, not even suspecting that he is breaking his sister's pride. It was said that the relationship between his brother and Arnin was the most cruel among all the descendants of Vlasco. The reason is precisely the injury. The guy's training is over, but this is not the best time to meet. The aura that presses has not yet completely disappeared. The lady's eyes light up. They can go to see the young lady instead of Werner. Being near Lady Arnon wouldn't be a good choice either. They are both incredibly angry and irritated right now. The lady's shoulder probably hurts. A couple can just look at least from afar and not approach. Margaret blushes. The little lady is worried about young Vlasco, so it's worth checking on her condition. Lifting the girl into the air again, the maid asks her to hold on tighter. She seemed to get emotional. On the roof, the couple watches as the doctor runs towards Arnon. He asks her to just examine the shoulder, because it could be a muscle tear. Without even turning to the man, the girl again repeats that she has absolutely no need for this. Even from the roof, you can see that the heroine's shoulder is pinched, and her face is noticeably paler. This can't be a good sign. Starting to scream, the lady orders not to tell either her father or her brother in order to save her job. The doctor lowers his head and quietly agrees. He just wanted to help, but no one left him a choice. Being as stubborn as Arnon was not the best idea. This can be harmful to your health. It will be difficult to see each other because the girl is not feeling well. She can say stupid things right to your face. Perhaps the little one would like to do something other than visit her brother and sister Vlasco. One could visit the garden or exhibition halls, which will be ready for viewing very soon. In the north of the territory, there is also a savanna. I remember how Niella was once not eaten by a huge snake there. The girl thinks about it and then remembers what she wanted to do. Need to go shopping. The Vlasco heiress must use the title at least once. She can go to the store that she wants to choose. A branded confectionery sounds the most tempting, because it probably tastes delicious, but the choice falls on something else. It's better to hold back and buy what you need for the job, so the little girl shakes her head. The little girl has a specific goal, so she asks to go to the pharmacy to buy something. Margaret asks again with interest. Artem should have one of the best pharmacies in the world where everything is available. The maid worriedly asks what happened. There is always a doctor in the mansion. Everything is fine. The lady is not sick, but she has a completely different purpose in the pharmacy. The little girl always wondered why her grandfather taught her to combine herbs. He asked me to remember in order to earn his bread in the future. I didn't want to believe it, but grandfather foresaw even this. The Duchess arrived at the Lilibant Pharmacy, where the necessary herbs should definitely be available. The girl most likely came to run errands. The brunette asks how she can help the young lady on this wonderful morning. The finger draws a line from the first shelf to the last. The girl is anticipating what she will say next after she gets everything she needs. Smiling, the lady says that she buys everything. Since childhood, she had always dreamed of saying such a phrase in reality. The Duke is in his office, as usual, sorting out documents, adding invitations to this. He controls what is sent to the sideline of the family and to the rest of the members, too. The guy has received the answers, so everyone will be present at the ceremony, as well as the test that will take place. A man asks Strawberries to cheer him up. At times, Parker felt like he was talking to a child because he was obsessed with the color of his hair. The guy is required to double his salary. Now he deals not only with finances, but also serves as a personal secretary seven days a week. Nonsense seems like something you don't want to hear, so the man changes the subject. He asks where the orange is. The girl went to the city. 
In recent days, the Duke has been unusually kind to the Duchess, despite what a cold person he is. The gentleman interrupts his thoughts. He forces Parker to get to work instead of staring out the window. All paperwork for the day was completed. The air in the room has decreased, so the man decides to go out onto the balcony to breathe. Attention is drawn to two carts with horses and a lot of shopping. The guy frowns, not understanding what it is. Overspending is too much fun. It becomes clear why people do this, because the view alone is already pleasant. After everything that happened today, it's time for the blonde to get to work. Instead of doing anything, the girl slept the whole time right on the bags. Waking up, she cannot understand whether morning has already come. We need to hurry up for breakfast, otherwise the lady will simply be late. There are, as usual, a lot of dishes on the table. The Duke asks what the ward did in the evening. According to her, she was just playing in the room. Obviously, the lady did this in the middle of bagged herbs that she purchased at the pharmacy. He found out everything somehow. Sighing, the guy only notices that the girl smells pleasantly of herbs, which can be easily felt. Werner and Arnon had a sparring session yesterday. The girl thinks that Arnon was seriously injured because of her powers. The man freezes. He didn't expect to hear something like that, but the heroine even remembers how she met with the doctor. The girl never says anything, but that is why the blonde had a desire to meet the beauty as soon as possible. A jar of some kind appears in the Duchess's hands. She has prepared a gift, and it contains 200 servings of herbal juice. The man frowns. Such a volume seems too huge, especially if it's all for just one daughter. Squeezing the gift, the little girl smiles. She is going to give the girl absolutely everything for her recovery. Too much for one person, but the Duke was upset that he did not get anything. The beauty prepared even for such a case, knowing that this could happen. She attracts attention to herself. Handing over a beautiful jar, the blonde advises drinking a solution with warm water if she can't sleep at night. The medicine helps to concentrate. The surprised man accepts a gift that was reserved even for him. The tincture will help restore strength without sleep. Caffeine can't even compare to tea because a week's worth of work can be done in one day if you have time. Instead of listening to the end of the menacing tirade, the man picks up the girl in his arms and carries her closer to the exit. Opening the door, the guy lowers the baby to the ground before slamming the doors behind her. The Duke orders the girl to leave quickly. Perhaps he wanted a restoration tincture, which is why he was picky. The time has finally come to go to Arnon. The forge in the distance was very similar to the one described in the novel. A female figure is visible in the distance. She is sitting on one of the scaffolds that are located next to the entrance to her workshop. A whole day has passed, but the shoulder still hurts, which suggests that the lady did not do any treatment at all. She simply didn't care. If you simply endure the pain, serious problems may arise. The doctor was right. Approaching from behind, like a silent mouse, the lady gently touches Arnon's shoulder. She asks if she would like to accept something from her. The girl turns sharply. The fist immediately clenches in order to be ready. You can't expect safety even in a forge. The heroine is frightened, however. Bending down, she presents a herbal medicine that reduces swelling and pain. It can be used as a quick pain reliever. The Duchess accepts the jar, but the girl opposite cannot calm down. Ainsley assures that there is no poison there, which she planted just to remove her rival. Looking at the gift, Arnon remembers how yesterday they said that there was a stray cat climbing on the roof. Most likely, it was the heroine. The little girl looks to the side in embarrassment. The Duchess finally found out about what happened on the roof yesterday. The cold gaze switches to Katisha. She had never seen anyone like this before. Trying to express her opinion, the girl was interrupted. Arnon herself most likely already guessed. Recently, only one new person could appear in the mansion, about whom everyone knew very well. Getting up from her seat, the brunette quietly says that it was her interlocutor who was mentioned in her grandfather's will as the rightful owner of absolutely everything. Nodding, the baby introduces herself by her first and last name. She sees no point in trying to deny the truth. The girl turns away and, opening a jar of solution, rubs it over her shoulder and arm. The pain seems to be subsiding. The heroine is happy because the medicine worked. She had no doubt about what she had bought, but she wanted to make sure of everything. The virgin calmly thanked Katisha, to which she bowed her head. She should be the one who says it all. It seemed that Arnon would be much more aggressive, but so far things were going surprisingly smoothly. It was a little scary. Virgo saw no point in arguing with a child the size of a mouse. Werner most likely thought it up, because he is already on the verge of threatening the receiver's place. 
The Duke has already warned about this. The baby cannot refuse the inheritance even if she wants to. The couple is worried about the family's reputation, but the girl doesn't care. She won't get Gerst anyway. It is clear that Arnon was pushed to last place in the ranks of the heirs. She was the youngest of all. There are no problems with the sword, but there are problems with other things. There must have been a lot of rare materials in Grandfather's vault, such as magic stones, dwarven gloves, and more. The girl hoped that her father or Werner would one day give the storage to her, but the little one came to swallow everything. The sword really doesn't touch the heroine in any way, but everything else could be very valuable. Starting to scream, Arnon assures the girl that she will not take anything. The safe will belong only to her and no one else. The strategic point has been reached. Even without knowing about the storage facility, the girl prepared the next step. Stepping forward, she proposes a deal that will only be made between the two of them. Not expecting such a turn of events, the brunette asks again. Such a proposal will make them both happy. The girl can take Katisha's side so that she passes the test to become an heiress, and then only she will get everything. Frowning, the lady reminds herself. She proclaimed all this with such pride, as if she did not care about the fact that everything would be taken away from Vlasco's direct descendant. The will says that Ainsley is the rightful owner, so it definitely won't be possible to destroy or change it. Grunting, the brunette smiles. The interlocutor is too brave, even when she realizes that the end could have already come for her. When the girl receives the inheritance, many enemies will appear, so there is only one important thing left to do, namely, invest in Arnon. Storage is a priority for the sister. After the lady receives possession, she can give away everything she needs. When a woman starts her own workshop, she will be able to support it with materials and startup finances. The brunette is worried about the fact that Katisha found out about the workshop. It was a dream that no one had ever heard of. Waving her arms, the blonde asks Arnon's opinion. If we assume a successful legacy, then everything will work out. The girl doesn't lie when she promises to help with everything. She understood perfectly well that this would be the best solution for the two of them. If you think like this, then if the maiden does not take the vault, it will first end up in the hands of the father, and then only his children. This will take at least 20 years. The interlocutor hands out an envelope. They lose absolutely nothing, in any case, remaining in an advantageous position. The little girl offers to sign the contract today, so she takes out some piece of paper which she unfolds. This is just a toy contract, judging by the inscriptions that are somewhere at the bottom with the names. A child remains a child, although he offers something beneficial. The lady then offers to go and have everything notarized. Baby also offers an administration office, a legal department, and a magic management office. No one can destroy it, just like a will. The brunette freezes. This person no longer looks like someone who just recently turned ten years old. The heroine heads down the corridor, almost jumping for joy. She succeeded despite the fact that it was scary. Arnon said she would think about it, but her face showed that she was in a good mood after the conversation. In the novel, the girl opened a workshop only five years later. The items were only identical to those sold by the Vlasco family, so they did not attract attention. Because of what was happening, the character became increasingly tougher, but the girl could not completely trust only the original. When they met in person, both the Duke and Arnon seemed completely different people. On the pages of the book, they were different from their real selves. In the mansion, all the servants were very friendly. Sometimes the heroine wondered whether Niella got along with them. Werner, sitting in a chair, reproaches the little one for being late for their meeting. She was required to prepare a report. The guy is also a little different, but not as much as other characters in the world. The gaze moves to the young man's leg. It's bandaged, but he was injured just recently during a sparring session with his sister. The girl thought that Werner's skills were much better, but then we need to be gentler with each other. The young man cannot choose the option to be gentler. As soon as he relaxes, Vlasco will cut off his ankles without even blinking. The couple is no different at all. Both are as crazy as they were described because sparring is serious. Arnon is very skilled with a sword, even if sometimes he doesn't want to admit it. She might win one day. A master of the sister's level gives it all she has, so the guy responds in kind just to stay alive. The unexpected fact still makes itself felt. The brunette thinks about the girl too often, without even noticing it. The man thinks, it's strange to him that before the maiden was more sincere, now something has changed dramatically. The maid could only say that the beauty definitely did not hate him. 
She thinks about the guy as much as he thinks about her. The couple will still be brother and sister until the very end. Their relationship will definitely not change under any circumstances. The young man planned to challenge his courage immediately after Arnon, but she knew what she was doing so she took special aim. It's strange that the guy calls his father his lordship instead of addressing him normally. The man hasn't actually told anyone, but he doesn't feel like he's actually his father. He seems like someone else. The girl thought about the fact that she had never seen them together. Perhaps this is all because the young man felt awkward. This is not strange because different families have their own circumstances within. Everyone feels differently and there is no way to change that. The girl herself was adopted so she didn't hope for anything. However, she was lucky enough to meet a kind man whose attention she did not deserve. In this life, everything is given for a reason. If the little girl met a good person, then she deserved it. Life isn't so easy that you have to be kind to those who don't deserve it. You need to be more confident, and this is important advice. The Duke asks the maid about Katisha. She seemed to be able to feel the flow of energy in the stadium. The girl behaved as if she felt an aura with her whole body that was squeezing her and making her afraid. Ainsley even saw energy, and this is difficult to achieve even after five years of training. A child cannot feel this. The young man asks, how old is the young lady? He thought she was seven, but it turned out that she was only ten. She's still small, no matter how you look at her. Compared to the Duke's children, they have a big difference in age and strength. The little girl can read and can do things that Werner, who held a sword since he was 11 years old, could not do. Katisha is agile because her presence is invisible. A child of this age sees the aura and can hide. The Duke first encounters the same case as his. Perhaps it is simply a matter of talent that appeared naturally without any effort. This genius child fell out of nowhere. We need to find information about her parents. Last year, there was a 13-year-old maid who turned out to be a spy. It would be worse if the same case happened here. The emperor could have specifically chosen a small and tender cutie. She doesn't raise suspicion because she behaves this way. Everyone fell for it because Kit and the maid and even Jem are now running around the baby trying to please her. Margaret reminds the guy that he now eats breakfast around the house. Orange easily gains confidence. The baby's fate will soon be decided. We need to prepare for the guests who should arrive very soon. The girl is too small so no one knows whether she will cope with the pressure and whether she will be able to convince the heirs. There will be a family meeting soon, and this can't help but frighten the young lady. She doesn't know what to do. It is the first time in the last ten years that a meeting of this scale has been organized. We need to find out when it will take place. Many say that immediately after the arrival of Elder Hespa, who is Herdzen's younger brother. The meeting will take place too soon, and the maiden is not yet ready to confess to Werner. The hands quickly twist the knife, which tries to cut out the swans. At such a young age, the lady can already do even this. The baby also knows how to make roses, so it looks like she has a talent for using a knife. This is nothing short of impressive. Tricks won't help you survive in a house full of dangers. We can no longer delay confession. In order to meet Werner, the maiden prepared swans. She offers him a snack. Taking a break from his activities, the man looks at the products in surprise. He can't believe it. The maid, for some reason, cleans and helps in the kitchen. You need to ask for an increase in salary, because Vlasco value work and are ready to pay. The man asks the girl to sit down, because as soon as he finishes the task, he will immediately listen to the report. The guy finds himself in the hands of a book about the politics of the empire. He's really busy with something important. Judging by the way everything is organized, he is interested in the dispute about the process of founding the Noble Council, Grandfather taught that it is better to look at the examples of other countries. The political history of the continent was also in one of the books. It is worth showing the head of the noble council of the neighboring kingdom. The heroine carefully holds out the book towards Werner, who looks at her in surprise. All this time, the thing was very close. The guy was too busy to even notice. Freezing in surprise, the young man suddenly asks if the girl has read this book. It is not included in what is needed for ten-year-olds. About a year ago, the blonde read it, that is, at the age of nine, which is even more surprising than before. The perfect moment has come to confess. The girl shrinks, starting a conversation about how she is an heiress. Margaret accidentally opens the door. She apologizes to the young master. The girl calls the lady because it's already time for lunch. She is never late, so you should hurry. The man tilts his head to the side. He is trying to understand who exactly we are talking about. Coming closer, the girl points to the baby. She's right in front of him, so he doesn't even need to look for anyone. 
The maid did not have time to introduce the couple to each other, so now it happens in a spontaneous atmosphere. The heroine's name is Lady Katisha Ainsley, who is the very heir of the late Duke in his will. The girl arrived a week ago, but pretended to be a maid. The answer is simple because she missed the right moment to tell the truth. The last few days had been more of a silly game that didn't count anymore. The baby definitely didn't want anything like this, but this makes her even angrier. Werner told her everything, even the situation with his father. Pointing his finger at the beauty who is trying to apologize, he cannot find the right words. The blonde accidentally hid her identity, but she didn't want to offend anyone. He must listen to her circumstances. Turning away, the young man asks to wait just a minute. He tries to concentrate on his thoughts. The heroine continues to apologize to the young master, but he silences her. She shouldn't call him that because it's confusing. Perhaps this is the problem, because the treatment is not the best for Werner. The girl comes closer and asks what she should call a man who behaves like this. It doesn't matter to him what exactly it will be, because that's the last thing that bothers him. She asks the hero's name. Saying his name, the young man sighs. Vlasco was already quite tired of everything that was happening. Calling the guy by name, the heroine smiles. Respect has disappeared somewhere along with the master. The man is older than the little scammer, so you need to try to find some better option. Then the last option remains. The blonde sighs and calls Werner brother. She wants everything to be exactly like this. Jumping back, the young man is surprised, while his sister asks to call her Katisha or Kadi Kisha. The gentleman can no longer stand this attitude, so he grabs Ainsley by the armpit and goes to the exit. Virgo tries to object. She lived with her grandfather for ten years and didn't want this to happen, but she didn't know. The heroine continues to apologize because she doesn't want to be buried somewhere, to which she is again asked to shut her mouth. Opening the room with his foot, the young man sees the duke, who asks him to knock before entering the office. Now something completely different is important. The man didn't say anything, and the way Katya was, it was simply impossible to recognize her. Smiling, the girl greets the head of the family. He asks her who decided to dress the baby in such an outfit. The dress looks like a rainbow. This outfit was extremely strange, considering that the closet was filled with clothes. There really are a lot of outfits, but my grandfather gave this dress a long time ago for his birthday. Virgo loves it and put it on because she really misses the old man. The Duke recoils. The beauty lowers her head in sadness while Werner also stares at her. A man thinks about something and then says that he loves bright colors. Clothing should stand out, especially since the harmony between the top layer and the bottom cannot fail to impress. It suits the girl. The brunette isn't sure if they're talking about the same dress. There are too many things bothering him to speak out on this topic. Gathering his willpower, the young man notices the fact that his grandfather had a specific taste, or rather a sensual one. A couple of minutes ago, my brother was talking about how my sister looked like a beggar. The king will shine even in rags, so most likely Herzen tried to reveal the baby's individuality. Asking what this means, the blonde gets an answer. She even read the History of Continental Politics, so it's hard not to call the maiden not unique. This was not something impressive, because Grandfather believed that only ignoramuses did not know about such things. The Duke's father taught the girl what was taught in the Middle and High Academy. The speed of remembering and understanding was impressive. If you add a sense of aura and degenerate talent, it is not just a coincidence. Addressing the orange, the man is trying to attract her attention in order to say something. It would be better to change into less flashy clothes because Uncle Hespa will arrive today. Virgo freezes. The oldest and most influential figure of the Vlasco family is almost at the estate. All the facts say that the family meeting that has been awaited for so long will begin very soon. Katisha managed to change into a discreet outfit. Werner did not make a sound until the very end, although the heroine hoped for support. Margaret tries to cheer up the Duchess. Sir is not as cold as the previous lord of the estate. Comparing a man with a grandfather is a little unfair. If you remember all the tricks, you can say that the people of the family are like calm jelly. The girl only has to go through the door that leads into the hall. There is nowhere else to retreat, and there is no turning back. Finding herself in the hall, the lady sees only many pairs of eyes with which Vlasco's relatives are boring into her.